Hi, I am Luciana and I'm going to guide you uh, through this logo how to make this one step by step. Um, the one in the top was made by someone who doesn't know the program very well and used auto digitizing. Well, as you can see, it doesn't turn out very nice, so I don't think it's also stitching very nice it's even not looking like this but I'm going to help her and I'm going to show you also how it's be done what I will do first is I'm going to search for an ASA font that's in the program that looks like this so I don't need to digitize this font myself by hand so therefore we go to lettering monogramming over here and then click on lettering. Over here on your right side you have the object property docker from lettering. And here it says insert character but we're not going to do that. We're going to choose from type embroidery. You can also do true type of all but I will choose embroidery and I will start with this one that's uh, already there so it's block number two it's there and I'm, now I'm going to type over here in this box where it says enter text I'm going to type uh, I will put my caps lock on because they're all capital letters Tyree. Sorry, space, right, that's it. Now you see it won't fit, but what we will do is we will make them a little bit bigger by just dragging on those handles over here. still doesn't fit but that's the next step now we're going to make the letters fit well as you can see if I click on the text it will select in one part so the only thing I can do is grab these handles or if I click on reshape I can place them a little bit in position but that's not what we're going to do so I'm going to put that back by clicking on undo I'm going to click on select again so it will select the whole word or the two words and I click on break apart still on the lettering monogramming click break apart and now I have two separate words what is not selected in one box and now again I select this word by clicking on it and I click again on break apart and now I will show you where is my sequence docker over here as you can see this word is divided in those letters one by one so now I click on that one left mouse click and I drag it in place also what I will do is over here in the ruler I click in the ruler left mouse click and you see there will be a line a yellow arrow with a line I will use that one to align the letters so now I will pick up this letter and I will place it here and as you can see it's still too small so I will grab this and do it like this pick it up a little bit 
Now over here, as you can see, it's like this, but that will I will do later on. And I also put this one in place. If I move it, you can see over here this guideline. Oh, I'm sorry. That guideline look is turning red. That means I'm on the guideline. So I leave it there. Do the same with this one. Make it bigger. Drag it a little bit over here. A little bit to the side. So it's going to be a little bit wider. And also put it here exactly on the guideline. Also I will put a guideline here. So the top part also will be straight in the same line. The letter R I will do the same. Make it a little wider by dragging over here. And with the letter E we will do the same. wider so this is done as you can see it's not good yet but we will get there well with this word you do the same you click on it and as you can see here it's selected in one word so click on break apart again and you can see now they're all separate letters and you can play with each letter. And we do the same with this one as we did with that one. But just to show you, I won't do it because the video is getting too long. Now to change this letter, I have to click on reshape. Or just reshape is not enough. I need to break apart again because this letter is made out of two objects. So I click on break apart again and now I have only this part that I can change. I select this one and I click on reshape. I can change that part also. Now I click on reshape and I'm going to reshape this part. Left mouse click here, hold your control key down, left mouse click there, and drag it all the way to the right. So that's better. To change this letter, go back to select, always go back to select, this E must be the same as that one, so that one I'm going to delete. Select it, delete it, pick up this one, but pick up the whole letter. Also what you can do is right mouse click and group it, so it will stay as a group together. And you can see that over here, those two parts I have uh, grouped, and now I can right mouse click drag and I will bring it over here because I know this one is good and I put it over there so this one is already done now we're going to change a part of the letter so it will be the same as the, the drawing the picture and again with this letter we click on break apart as long as this one is not grayed out, you can use it. So break apart. You see now it's gray. Now you cannot use it anymore. So we click on the edge of this one. If it doesn't work for you that, that way, then what you can do is click on select, select this object and then go back to reshape.
Now I will change the line of this one. I just pick it up, left mouse click and drag it. So this one is ready. Um, oh, here we had also something that was different. Well, let me click on select, put that one in place, that one in place. I'm not going to show you how to make these letters bigger because I showed you already. But this one we need to make, make it fit in here. So pick up this one a little bit wider. I think that's okay. No, it needs to be up there. There. You see, the guideline is turning red, so this is in this place. Now we're going to change this part. And I need to break it apart again. Select it, click on reshape, and drag that one a little bit to there. So that one is ready also. We click on this one, on the edge, or when you were here, and it doesn't work for you, click on select, click on the letter E to select it and then click on reshape. 